Daddy's Kisses, and a Ren Rooney original creepypasta. Growing up, my dad and I were very close. We had this special bond that no one could sever. You see, my mother had passed away giving birth, so we were all each other had. We'd spent a lot of time together because of this. We had formed this natural connection due to it. We'd watch the game on TV together, we'd go to movies together, go fishing, you name it. I loved my dad. One tradition we had was he'd tuck me into bed, we'd say a short prayer together, and then he'd kiss my head and say goodnight. Whenever he'd wake up in the middle of the night, he'd check to make sure I was alright, and if I'd start to stir, he'd kiss my head and tell me to go back to sleep. This was our tradition until my dad started working night shift. When it was 6.30, approximately after dinner, he'd say his goodnights and goodbyes and then head out for the night. When he'd get back from work, he'd check up on me to make sure I was asleep, and if I stirred, he'd kiss my head and tell me to go back to sleep. Then it happened one night, in my sophomore year of high school. He had said his usual goodbyes and made his way to work. I cleaned the dishes, put the leftovers away, did some homework, and then went to bed. Nothing out of the ordinary at this time. Then at some point in the night, I awoke to faint footsteps in my room. Still drowsy, I stirred a little in my bed. The lights were off and I was facing away from where the footsteps were coming from so I couldn't see anything, or even make out a silhouette. I was about to raise my head when I was lightly kissed on the head, and a warm voice whispered, It's okay, sweetheart. Go back to sleep. With that, my eyes slowly closed, and I fell back into a deep sleep. I was later awakened to the sound of police cars approaching, growing louder. I awoke with a jerk and looked out my bedroom window. There were squad cars pulling up into our driveway. In a panic, I scrambled out of bed and went to my dad's room. But his bed was still made from when he left. Confused, I turned and ran down the stairs to the doorway, only to find the door was wide open. A police officer was making his way towards the door, gun in hand. He had his gun raised at first, but then he saw it was me. He lowered it and pointed it inside the house, grabbing me by my arm and pulling me outside and escorted me towards the police cars, two other officers going into the house. Is someone in the house with you? He asked abruptly. In a daze, I replied, my dad. His face contorted in confusion. Are you Hannah Davis? Yes, I said, a sense of fear starting to well up inside of me. Suddenly gunshots came from inside the house. Dad, I screamed, starting towards the door but being quickly grabbed and pulled back. The gunshots coming from inside the house were firing off in a frenzy, then abruptly silence. No one moved. No one even breathed. Tears began to well in my eyes and stream down my cheeks. Dad, I could barely choke out. The officer standing next to me pulled out his radio from his pocket. Jennings Monroe, do you copy? Over. A voice then came over the radio. Officer down, culprit has been fatally wounded. Sending paramedics now, can you ID the suspect? Caucasian male, late 30s, early 40s, blonde hair, brown eyes, matches the description of a brown leather jacket and a fresh cut alongside the upper right cheek. I was suddenly overwhelmed with shock. The man described wasn't my dad. All right, send me back up now. Make sure the area is clear, over and out. He signaled three other officers inside. He then turned to me, seeing the bewilderment in my eyes. What happened?
happened? Where's my dad? I said, a quiver in my voice. His stern look softened as he put a gentle hand on my shoulder. Anna, I know this isn't easy to hear, but your father never came home last night. He was killed at his office by an unstable co-worker. I felt a sharp pain strike my heart, the seemingly endless flow of tears dripping down my cheeks. The only word I could muster was, He lost custody of his daughter a few weeks ago over a domestic dispute with his wife. He was envious of your father. He was envious of you. A chill ran down my spine, my hair standing on end. The officer's response would haunt my thoughts with a feeling of dread, for I could only imagine what could have happened had I looked up from what I assumed to be daddy's kisses? <laughs>